Coach, uh, just uh, curious, what was uh, you guys had a kind of a, an elongated meeting out there at midfield? Uh, just well, what was kind of the conversations? Or was it just about practice? Oh, uh, the conversations. What we, what we do at the end of practice, which is really nice now, is we have individuals will share their why, their why in life, why they do what they do, how they do it, the discipline, what they've been through, and it's, it allows us to connect. And it's been coaches, it's been players, and it, it's. Um, what I've really enjoyed about it, we've, I've actually learned some stories about some young men on this team that I didn't know. And so it gives us the time to connect as a team, which is more important than what we're doing right now. Uh, talk about your position group a little bit. Um, seems like there's a, there's a lot of depth there. you got a, five, six, seven guys you can really count on. What have you seen from uh, that group so far? <laughs> you said five, six, seven guys you can count on, huh? It's funny, as soon as you say that, I can already see some guys peeking out of their gap from this one. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of learns. There's going to be a lot of learns from this tape. But the one thing, like you said, you got the death, but you got young men that, that uh, to me, are mature. I've got young men that love to come out. They, they've got a hard edge. And they're going to sharpen their edge every day. And that's what's been a joy. They hold each other accountable. But more importantly, what I see is I see Nusi encouraging Khalil. I see Jernias coaching Ansel, um, Naeem, and just how that room and Gusta and just how they're so connected. But yet they're all competing for a spot, but yet they're all family and they love one another. And that's, that's been the biggest thing for me because that room will go nowhere unless there's love built in there first because now they're going to work for one another. So it's not about, it's not about that what that one individual does. Now it's about the unit, and it's about representing the unit, and that's why I'm so proud of them. Have you seen maybe one guy, I know you, obviously you lost three veterans off, uh, off of last year's team and three of your leaders. Have you seen one or two guys really emerge as kind of the, the veteran vocal leader of that group? No, I don't, I'm not going to say vocal. We, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe in being vocal. I, don't, I think the way you're going to lead, you're going to lead with your pads, you're going to lead with making plays, you're going to be being consistent. You're going to play at the heel line, you're going to flat deck, and you're going to pressure the quarterback. You don't need to speak. Your, your, your play will speak louder than anything else. From day one to now, um, who's maybe one guy on the D-line that you've seen the biggest strides from? Um, you know, I don't really like to answer that question because they all work so hard, and I'm, I'm never going to single one guy out because they're all reaching their best. So that's one question I won't answer. Uh, Isaac getting some snaps there uh, later in practice. What are you seeing out of him tonight and just kind of the last week in general? Out of who? I'm sorry. Uh, Isaac Terrell, sorry. Oh, out of Isaac? See, uh, Coach Miley coaches Isaac because he coaches the edges. Um, what I've seen w with Isaac, what I love about him is, is <laughs> the kid's got such a big heart, and he wants to do it right. And he's got a, he's got a great motor. He's going hard. He's got some, I mean, he's got good hands. So for him, he's just still learning the assignments and be able to understand the scheme, the backfield sets the wise, and being able to stand on just the little details of it. Um, but what a great kid. So you'd have to ask Coach Miley on that. And then uh, no uh, Gusta tonight. Do you know how he's doing? Gusta's doing really well. Gusta's doing just fine. So um, nothing to say there with that. So he's doing good. Coach, uh, athletes are, you know, creatures of habit a lot of times. <laughs> uh, and, you know, when you're in 830 practices, you know, for a couple weeks on now, how important is it to sort of get them out here at a different time, you know, set their reset their clocks to, at, at a certain point? You know, I thought it was great. You know, that's one thing I always remember working with Coach Bull, and Coach Bull always said, don't lock your knees, right? And he always changed the schedule up on us. And tonight was to, to see the energy that we had tonight, it really felt like, it felt like a game night. And to see the young men, how they came out from – you know, we did, we did our walkthrough this morning from 11 to 12 and had our unit meetings at 10, and they lifted this morning too. And then to see the focus from the team meeting to the position meetings to the, to the field was um, just the maturity of it. And so when you say breaking it up, I think it was really important because I don't want to say it's monotony, but as you know, I think you need that in a fall camp. It just brought the juice. And the way that, we've, the way that Coach Dickert structured this, this was the one to peak, and this is where we wanted to peak before we go in the scrimmage on Saturday. And so I thought it was, it was, I, 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 I walked out practice, I'm like, I'm not gonna, I don't even have to yell today. Cause it was like, you could feel it. It was great. Gusta, uh, the other day, he described Ansel as being uh, 300 oh. pounds with a six pack. Um, <laughs> that was his, uh, his summary of him. What have you seen from him? It just, it seems like he's even bigger, stronger, and more, uh, more athletic than even what we saw in the spring. Yeah, you know, Ansel, you gotta remember Ansel put on 35 pounds since he's been here in January. Um, his strength numbers have gone through the roof, too, what he's done in the weight room. I'm really proud of that young man. Uh, so he now he, what we've done, too, is he's learning both positions. He's learning the three. He played the three all spring, and now he's playing the nose because I want him to learn both. And so in that, he's getting, the, he's getting comfortable with it now. 
in the, in the nose guard spot. It's just, it's, I always say it's just reverse three in some aspect. Um, but he's doing a good job. He's come along. And a lot of it, too, is at first he was it's just he's trusting. He's trusting himself again and what he's got in him.